Welcome to the Shamrock Show. Sit down, have a listen, and go fuck yourself. The Shamrock Show. So you're just you're just out of training right now. Yeah, just trying. I'm going back then about in the about like a few hours now. I uh, back you, and do a bit of jits. Are uh, all the gyms open normally over there now? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. I'm bouncing to from one uh, club to the other, like you know, just trying to find somewhere to train at the minute. They don't have any like provisions for professional fighters or anything. Like, yeah, you meant if yeah, but you're meant to be doing your own thing, isn't it? It's meant to be like individual training or something like that. Some so show. Are Are you able to get in over at SBG, or are you just bouncing around wherever? Um. Yeah. Well, we're we're doing a bit in SBG. Uh, in the morning time, the clubs are back open next week, though. So. Okay. So that gives us something, you know. Look forward to it. and the gyms are back open and and still and the pubs, but I'll, I'll be staying out <laughs> of them. <laughs> the, mo- the most important thing, the most important thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've got um, I got some friends in Dublin. I got a lot of family in Belfast, and so I know the the opening situation has been different. But you guys have been in in real lockdown for a, a long time. You know, we've been a little bit more loose over here. Um, but it's just we're just uh, last two weeks ago. They, they took the masks away. We can go out in public with no masks and stuff now. Oh, for the first time. yeah. I say that's absolutely brilliant. Like, we yeah. just, yeah, we're so behind. Like, you know, it's, and it's driving everyone bleeding crazy at the minute. You know, the, the gyms, you know, I know John Cavanaugh talked about it a lot. It's like, man, you want people to be healthy and, and to be able to, that's the best way to fight this thing is to be in good shape. Like, I'm overweight and that's why I got so sick. You know, it's just, it's, you need to be able to, to work out and, even we've had gyms open for a while, but you got to wear a mask the whole time. Being on a treadmill and a mask, dude, it's like it's, it's the, the worst. Your breath, your uh, breath gets all, your breath gets all hot, and it's like, all right, man, you know. Yeah, I, I hate running as it is. Like, no, never mind, fucking can't breathe with the bleeding mask on, like you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so now that you're back to training, do you have anything lined up yet, or no? Um. So he said, like, late, late summer, like, to yeah. me, um, I've no, like, no name yet, like, you know? Yeah. But do I not deserve the fucking title, like, you know what I mean? Right. So there's a lot going on in your division right now. It's it's actually really, mm-hmm. uh, really active, really exciting division in, in Bellator. And you're coming off two wins, and... um. Well, we'll really well, trade. Well, really well, that, well, that's what I was gonna say. And like, really looking at your record, you know, and I know I said this on Twitter when we were talking once. It's like, you got the two wins in a row. You got robbed, like, really one of the worst, worst robberies I've ever seen against Leslie Smith. You you lost on a cut that you were doctor stoppage between rounds on a fight that you were winning, and then you got a split decision loss. It's like you could easily be on like a seven fight winning streak right now. You know, yeah, it's I could, like, yeah, it could be easy, fucking nine and nine on tail. Do you know right. what I mean? Easy, like, and like, I think that that's <laughs> people don't understand. They see your record, and then they're like, "Oh, she's no good." Like, you know, um, she's seven and four. Like, but if you look at the, the big picture, that no, I shouldn't be seven and four. I just had an awful bad bad look. Um, a run a bad look. I think you know. Yeah, there's no there's no luck of the Irish. I don't care what anybody says. It's more, <laughs> no, it, 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 it's more like Murphy's Law. Like whatever can go wrong will go wrong. That's that's the real Irish philosophy. Uh, I think that's why we say that. I think is um, it's sarcastic. Well, like backhand, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes more sense for sure. Yeah. Um, so so I've been I've been in uh, I've competed in boxing, but I've been in a boxing MMA gym for about eight years, nine years. And what people don't realize that you're saying just about record, right? They look at a record, but something, you know, I've learned early on was it's like, well, it's not, you can't look at a person's record. You got to look at who they fought and what their records are. And you, so like, for example, 
the girl that uh, you lost to on a cut, uh, Janae Harding, right? She's three and three. Her first three fights are against Megan Anderson, Arlene Blanco, and Jessica Rose Clark. Like she's from Australia. Like that's a that's a, a you know you should have won that fight, but that's a tough opponent at, at three and mm-hmm. three. You know what I mean? Her mm-hmm. the same way. You look at your your record. You fought nothing but killers forever. Even your last two fights are, are girls who aren't necessarily big names, but I just pulled up their records. You've got seven and two and six and one. You know, and your last two girls that you beat. I mean, that's those are big quality wins. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like. I I, I don't think is what um like today. She was she was a tough opponent, and I've seen Leah and Leah better there uh, last weekend. You know, and she done great coming back for that. Because she was she a uh, good comeback, you know. Because yeah. she was she was just about to like like it was yeah. a tough fight for her. Do you know what I mean? It was a tough fight, you know. You, but you, she don't, she don't want to come back. Do you and Leah train together at all, or no? Does she come down to Dublin to train much, or does she stay at the the SBG in Belfast? Or? Um, no, she's down in Charlestown. No, we haven't trained. Yeah, you know, no. we haven't trained much together in a while. Like you know. She can you know, it's, it, 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 it's hard because, like, you don't know if I'm going to fight this person. Do you know what I mean? Like, so, and, and I was wondering that, you know, I didn't know how close, like, if you guys were really teammates or or, or, or not, you know, and, and I got to imagine that stuff because you're right next to each other in the rankings. And, and I know you don't want to, like, you would never want to hate on a, a fellow, fellow countryman, but she, like, passed you in the rankings with that win. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know, she's, she's what? She's five and you're six how do you drop a spot by not fighting you know what i mean like what yeah yeah definitely yeah well i don't know i just had to fight the girl above our baby yeah well i want that title shot so fuck off <laughs> you well, know yeah and so about that title right so chris cyborg you know is long time just an incredible fighter um but you know, you look at since she got beat by Amanda Nunes, she's fighting a little bit more cautiously. And Leslie Smith cracked her a few times, and Leslie Smith can't crack. You know what I mean? So it's like when I'm watching that Exactly fight, what I'm saying. Right, exactly right. what I say. Yeah. You know, I'm watching that fight, and you know, you've seen you've seen Cyborg knocked out, so you know you can, she can be knocked out. It's not like it's a, a fighter who's who like, oh, man, this person's never been knocked out, you know. And then you see that she's starting to get hit more. You know, she's just, it's just how the game goes. She's fighting more cautiously now since she's been knocked out. And I'm watching that fight with Leslie Smith, you know, and she's beating Leslie Smith end to end. But Leslie Smith, every so often, is, is, is cracking. And I'm like, dude, if that was Sinead, there would be a, a whole different uh, ball game on that. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely would have been a good night, I think. I, I, I think I could stop this woman. Like, and a lot of people are just laughing at me and they don't believe it. And then, um, yeah, and and then like, but if you if you know me as a fighter, you know, and you you study me and you know the deal a bit with me record and all that, like, then people believe in me. They think I can do it, like, you know. You said they look at your record at seven to four could easily be nine and two. Yeah, and yeah. with the exact same fights could be nine and two, and, and they're not saying that. Then you know, it's just a, a misconception, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, but she called for a fight with Kat Zingano, and yeah. uh, I, I, you know, I'm a, I've always been a, a Kat Zingano fan. I've got information that Kat doesn't want that fight. That Kat is just kind of look. I mean, you look at you look at the two girls that Kat's fought since coming to Bellator. That last girl, yeah. that last girl shouldn't have. I mean, you know, no disrespect, but that girl was like Elba you know, League. I mean, she was, they, they said in the broadcast, you know, she was somebody who was kind of doing a cardio kickboxing and she was like three and one or something and had lost two in a row, like to, to fight Captain Gaga. Yeah. And then the girl. Yeah, that I, lo- I, lo- I absolutely love Kat as well. I love, um, you know, I love what she's, she's doing and stuff. Yeah. And she's, she actually follows me on Twitter and I'm really proud of her. <laughs> yeah, and no. she's, no, she, she's good. She's good skin, you know. And um, yeah, but I do think like she hasn't hasn't had the competition in Bellator like to um to to have that title like like she hasn't even fought anyone in the top five. Let's let's face right. it, like right. And I, and I don't know? if what I've been told is true, which I think it is. I don't think she. I think she's just looking to grab fights and cash checks. You know, I think uh, yeah, she's, yeah. I think she's been through a lot. She's been to the top. She went. You know, she's beat Amanda Nunes. She she lost a title fight. She's been through wars, and I 
think that she's just looking to grab some fights and grab some checks. I don't, you know, now that Cyborg's called her out, that's kind of tough to dodge. You know, they might try to make that fight, but I, I don't think yeah. I've been told she doesn't want that fight. It'd be great if she doesn't, because I, I think like, because I want it, like, you know. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's the only thing is I think that they could give her that fight kind of on on name value rather than yeah. on, you know yeah I, when 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 Cyborg done that like she put a spanner in the works for me like I think you know because I thought like all right I'm next on this like you know and then she said call out cat like and I was thinking like like uh, <laughs> no you should be calling out me like you know right you know give me some fucking credit give me like say something about me like she she has me blocked. She has me blocked off everything. And yeah. and she said that she would fight every girl. She named every girl in the fucking top the 10 uh, division. Except for me. She's like, I'm not good. Apparently, I'm not good enough to fight her. But everyone else is, like, you know? Well, I think her, I think her boyfriend runs her social media. I don't know if she she probably didn't block you. Uh, he he runs a it. Well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um... <laughs> But yeah, that, that surprises me, even just for the competition aspect, because she's talked about wanting to fight like Katie Taylor, right? So if you want to fight yeah. Katie Taylor, you why not fight probably the best boxer in your division, you know, exactly across, across even probably even the UFC off the top, like you're the best pure boxer in featherweight, you know, uh, women's MMA, yeah? Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I do believe that, like I am. I, I don't think I'm getting enough recognition, like, uh, enough promoting our fella at all, like at the moment, you know what I mean? Like I think they should they should be like promoting me a bit better, you know. Well, the fights don't get shown. Do you know, yeah. it's 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 fucking sad, like do you know. Yeah, I was I was at your fight in uh, Dublin when you beat that girl in like seventeen seconds, thirty four seconds, whatever yeah, it huh? was. I was there, but um. You've got three three wins that I saw, one from amateur and two from pro that are under a minute. You don't see that in girls' MMA. You don't see women's MMA finishes in under a minute. You've got at least three that I saw. I mean, yeah. you've got... You've you got, can't you've, remember them. <laughs> you, yeah. you've, got, you've got some real power in those hands. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I love the crack. love the, the bang, like, you know? Yeah. That, that's why I'm so, so dangerous, like, for, for these girls, like, you know? Yeah, and and uh, to get back to what you were saying about the promotion and whatnot, like I love Bellator. Um, I'm a I've I've been a, a big Bellator fan for a while, and I've got some friends over there show me a lot of love. I've got Connor here in a Bellator hat, you know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> but like in in your fight with Leslie Smith in the first round, there's a period of three minutes where you're absolutely slapping the head off of her, and John McCarthy is just talking about. Leslie Smith comes from the scrap pack in San Francisco. Oh, did you know that Leslie Smith went to Thailand and trained in this and that? Leslie Smith, she's got his organization going with the union. Like, while you're just banging the head off of her left and right, and they're just talking about for three minutes straight. I just, I feel like um, sometimes that they get, the Bellator commentary team gets in their head, like they want this fighter to win, and then they call, they, they don't want to break from that script. They like see it a lot. I think the commentary you know, not that that affects the judging, but the commentary is is a little bit biased sometimes there. Yeah, I, definitely, yeah. I, you yeah. know, and I'm not I'm not looking for you to comment on that. You know, I know you don't want to say anything bad. But about no, them. I have to. I, I will because um, I, after I think after that fight, then uh, I made a fan out of John. Yeah. And uh, he was them. He was saying so so many nice things about me, and he's. And he's still saying out some lovely things about me. Like he said that I should have been ranked number three, like mm -hmm. in the division. That I um that I was a dark horse to fight um the cyborg that I, I I'm one of the people that can be her, like, you know. So um yeah, I, I made a fan out of him out of that fight anyway. Yeah, well, I mean, how could you if you know fighting and you watch that fight, I, it, it blows my mind that three professional judges could, could get that the wrong way, you know. Um, sure, yeah. The, the one, the one the judges gave gave me uh, two okay. rounds, and then yeah. gave and gave then gave the last round ten eight to Leslie. Like it's just like, right? Like just to make it even. I was just, it's fucking yeah, there. Just ridiculous. Like I, I've I've never been able to put together how they got that Leslie Smith won that fight. I mean you. Uh, <laughs> Um, oh, it's like it still kills me to this day. Like it's it still haunts me. Like you know, 
So oh. maybe there has to be a rematch. Maybe the, and that's going to just sort of fucking out, like, you know? Yeah. And that's what I was going to ask you. I didn't know if, if that rematch interests you or if you're just kind of fucking past it. But I think, you know, she's coming off. If they're not going to give you the title fight, she's ranked above you. She's coming off the title fight loss. It makes all the sense in the world for you to fight her. You beat her. Then you like have, there's no question that you get the title shot, but I don't, would she would she take the rematch, right? Like if, I if, don't know. I mean, I really think that she wouldn't take the rematch. Right. I really I mean, think she wouldn't. If 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 you get out of a fight and you you get the wrong you get the benefit of a wrong decision, like why why would you risk that? You know what I mean? Yeah, if you're exactly. her, you know, yeah. I, 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 unless she really believes in herself, and and I just don't have a hard time seeing her take that rematch. You know. Yeah, I I can't see it myself. Like, you know, I can't see it myself. Um, but what do you, what do you think of uh, Cyborg as an opponent, right? Um, you, you see more holes in, in there than just uh, being able to get your shots off. I'm used to these uh, fight, fighters and coming forward, and I'm just uh, I love the counter punch, like you know, and I really say, yeah, I think my movement is going to be the key here, like you know, I'm I'm just style yeah. boxing. You know, what do you got going? You shave your head over on the side, it looks dope. Yeah, I did, yeah, badass. <laughs> yeah, 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 I like it. I, li I like what you've done over there. They just don't, they just <laughs> opened the barbershops back up, right? They just don't reopen. <laughs> yeah, and I had a little meltdown. I was just like, fuck, I'm gonna shave your head. <laughs> that, that's when you know a girl's out and going through some shit when they change their hair, you know. <laughs> <laughs> when, a, when a girl changes her hair, you know she's going through some shit. Yeah, yeah. I know me in fucking business. I'm got I'm booked in to get a tattoo, but I'm on my toy as well. So but I'm not gonna get that till I uh till I get a fight because I'll be out for a few weeks after that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got a tattoo once and I ended up getting freaking like uh I went to the gym like immediately afterwards and getting like a staff infection in it, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got really I got one of them before that rough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so I gotta hit you with kind of a, a personal question here. My friend tells me that you punched him in the face one time at Lillian's Bordeaux. You you know you know my buddy Adrian. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and he says that he thinks he deserved it. Well, he doesn't remember why you punched him in the face, but he said you punched him in the face in Lillian's one night. Is that true? I know I can't remember. <laughs> it must have been just a mess. It must have been he, just a mess. I, I think he deserved it, but you probably slept him. <laughs> but I, I, he told, I, I told him, uh, when I told him you were going to come on the podcast, he's like, oh, she punched me in the face in Lillian's one night. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't think it would, it would have been missing tea if I meant to. So uh, <laughs> definitely not, definitely not. I don't think so. At the minute, I'm 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 trying and good, like because I know I know they're gonna, just gonna like stick a fight, gonna say, all right, you have six weeks, get ready for a fight, and I'd be like, fuck, I'm not ready, like you know. So yeah. I'm getting ready, I'm getting ready now. At the, at the minute, like just and waiting because I'm I'm gonna go, I'm gonna run through someone. I'm just like. So angry now. <laughs> <I know. laughs> um, you think you think you'll have an event in, in uh, Dublin this year? You think the this Dublin looking like it's going to open up like that? You think by the end of the year? Yeah. Well, they said they were they were going to um, bring people like back to stuff soon. You know, I like I don't know if there's a date on that yet, but yeah. I would love if Bella Talk came over here like for December or you know later on. Yeah. In the year, like, and we all the Irish just fucking fight top people, and yeah, be, that'd be a great card, like, you know. Yeah, I've I've been looking, like, I still they're not letting Americans into Ireland. I've been looking to see if I can book any flights in the fall, and right now we can't even. I I heard maybe July or something they're gonna open it up, but if they do an event in uh, Dublin this fall or winter, I'm definitely gonna come over. Like I said, I was there yeah. the last when, when you fought there and you knocked that girl out. Um, you know, I'd, I'd love to get back over there, especially if Jimmy's going to fight too, I'll probably fight on the same card, probably for a, yeah. a, a title. You know, I uh, got to spend some time with, with Jimmy and Peter after Peter's big win the other uh, three, two, three weeks ago, man. Because uh, Mohegan Sun is right in my backyard. It's like, it takes me like 10, minutes, right. takes me like 10 minutes to get there. So 
like whenever I've come to Ireland, like aside from being a fan, right? Like I always want to look out for the Irish fighters when they come here because whenever I go to Ireland, like Patty Houlihan always looks out for me, man. He like, hooks me up with t-shirts. I've been down to all, I've been to all the gyms, you know what I mean? I could go work out yeah. like, like, so I always want to pay that forward, you know? So whenever somebody comes over, I always try to like look out for him. Like, hey, if you need anything, you need, you know, a place to go train, a different sauna, you want to get away from the other fighters, where to eat, whatever. Like, I just always want to look out for the Irish fighters when they come over, just because I've been showing so much love when I go over from the MMA community there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I really hope that when we come over there and we have a, a piss up. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I, I think Bellator has got a lot of explaining to do if they don't make this uh, fight fight with Cyborg, really. I mean, you're coming off yeah. with two, two wins over high-level competition. You know, I, I think you got to be sitting pretty for that spot. Get a little bit more uh, vocal on Twitter about it, maybe. But, I, you know. I, I'm doing what I believe and can, like, you yeah. know. But, um, as I said, there's going to be like a lot of uproar as well. If if like if they give it to me, because people want to see cat, they want to see cat fight or like you know. Yeah. But um, well, you saw the you people know. went the people went nuts. Yeah, it was the last week that morning combat podcast when they put out the list. Who do you want to see cyborg fight? And they had like Janae on there, and like everyone in the was, media. You know, except you for me. <laughs> right. You must you must have got tagged a hundred times on that post. I saw it on yeah. my feed all day, blowing up, blowing up. Yeah, that's like, it was just like, where the fuck am I? Like, do you know what I mean? It's like, I think, it's like, I've I'm forgotten about, like, you know, which is fucking shit. Well, <laughs> next time, put my want... mug up. I want my mug up on the fucking picture, <laughs> especially with the shaved head. You look fucking badass. It puts you, you, you need, <laughs> I need to get a, a, a new profile picture for you with the shaved head. Maybe put a couple of lines in there. You'll be fucking <laughs> gang, gangster yeah. as shit, bro. <laughs> I'm out for blood, I'm telling you. I have an attitude. That comes with attitude, that does. <laughs> Fuck, man. I, 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 uh, yeah, I hope you get booked soon, man. And I hope the gyms get open properly so you can get real, uh, real work in. Over, yeah. Over, over but next there. week, they're, they're open up next week. So, uh, yeah. we're going, to, yeah. So, um, get proper training and get ready to, for a fight, you know, just fighting on that call. Like yeah. the, I suppose, like it'd be good to charity, maybe charity be on the same card as me. Now that Fuck James it. has a ball, yeah, he could, he could be on the same card as me. You know, Char Charlie Ward. I fucking what an animal that guy is, dude. I love watching <laughs> that guy. Like, take my money anytime Charlie Ward is fighting, man. Fuck that guy is an yeah. animal. Yeah, he's low. He's uh, do you know what? And he's the, the most fucking incredible human. Like he's so he's so sweet. Like yeah, he's, yeah, he's lovely. Yeah, James, James is a uh, shoulder. You, you got to see what's up with that. You know, I know he's uh, been getting some rehab on it. I think he's out on the West Coast. Um, yeah. He's over, there, he's over there raised. You know, he's over yeah. there bleeding out. Um, yeah, I would have liked him to see that uh, that fight. I think he would have bet you, man. Yeah. To be honest. You know? Yeah. I well, think. And, and Patchy looked terrible in that fight. His stand up was yeah. terrible, you know. Terrible, you know, wasn't it? I thought that the same. Yeah. I was like, James would fucking kill him. Like, yeah, I was I was surprised because I hadn't seen him to any level of stand up. He's been able to submit guys, and I was like, oh, it's going to be a good, uh, you know, good matchup, you know, when James and I were talking about it. But then his striking was like, yeah, it was very bad. You know, it was like, Day one, you know, James was slapped the head off him, and, and he couldn't figure out how to get a submission on that kid either. Once, once he uh, got it to the ground, you know, I think I yeah. think James. I don't even know if they'd make that fight now. I think that guy looks so bad. Yeah, I I talked to Sam. I was just like like I was looking forward to seeing him and seeing what what he got, what he yeah. had, like you know what I mean. And then I was just like, fucking James would fuck this field up, like you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that kid took the fight on like six days' notice. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, so well, yeah, but, um, who else then would be for James to fight down in that division? Um, you know, I, I know that kid, um, he fought the other day, Leandro Higo. He fights from the Pitbull camp. I know that they want that, that he's wanted that fight, but you know, I mean, I, I think James probably got to be close to next in line for a, a shot against, um, 
Pettis, you you know, maybe one more fight, maybe he'll fight. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe he'll yeah. fight Archuleta, who just lost or something, you know. Um, yeah. But you know, Irish Irish MMA on a whole seems to be on the right track. You know, it's just kind of ebbs and flows. But you know, with with Peter Peter getting that win, you know, you're, you're on a two fight streak. James is ready to come back. Connor's gonna win in July. It's it's, it's good. It's a good scene for him. Irish MMA right yeah. now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's, there's some killers. We have some killers in SBJ, don't we? Like, you know, yeah. some serious, and, serious fighters. There, like, and, and, and for for a country that's so small to to produce that many high level fighters, you know, is it really it really shows a lot from from what you guys are doing. You know, you got a great team over there for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh huh. And I wouldn't mind, but John, he's just a, a man full of knowledge. Like he just. It's amazing how much he knows about the game, like you know. Yeah, yeah. And when he teaches, it it just sticks. It just sticks to you, like it, he has his way of teaching, and it just just it goes into your head, you know. <clears throat> that's, that's that's like the beautiful part about a coach. Like my my boxing coach Kent Ward, man, he'll like he'll make you feel like you could go out and fight a gorilla, you know, and there's just, there's a certain, <laughs> there's a certain guys who can put that into you, you know, that, that really yeah, can, yeah. can can give you that feeling of confidence and, and really that understanding of, of technique. You know, and uh, it, 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 like I said, for, for Ireland to be as small as it is for you guys to have so many fighters on the high level stage like that. I mean, Ireland is it's smaller than probably Texas and can the United States, you know what I mean? It's uh it's definitely smaller than California. So for you guys to put out high level fighters from a small country like that, it really shows that you guys have something special going on over there, you know? Yeah, yeah. We do like <laughs> we have um, we have the, the secret 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 potion we have here. <laughs> yeah, the, the whiskey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's um, true. So I gotta imagine your next fight will be at Mohegan Sun. So make sure you look me up when you come over. We'll get you sorted out for sure. Uh, Definitely. Yeah. Uh-huh. What's uh? Well. What's your social media that everyone can follow you at? What's uh? Or your like your Twitter handle, your Instagram handle. What do we got? Just Shane Shane Kavanagh K O, isn't it? K O. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. K O. That's it. K O Kavanagh. Yeah. Right, That's right, on Twitter. Right. Right to the point. Right to the point. <laughs> Uh, uh-huh. Sinead, Sinead, I really appreciate you taking the time to come and talk no, with bro. me. You know, it's it's great to catch up with you, and you know, hopefully, I get to see you this summer over here, and then I'll see you in the winter over there. You know, that's it. Make sure you bring your heavy jacket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I will for sure. I had to, I had to buy last time I was over in, in December. I had to freaking buy one at the mall. It was, I, I didn't think it was gonna. I was like, oh, it's not gonna be that cold. And I just came with some sweatshirts, and I was like, no. I had, yeah, had to go true. buy one at the mall in Dublin and pay a fucking arm and leg for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. So now you learn. It does be bleeding, freezing. Yeah. You know? But but if you come over this summer, man, make sure you bring your shorts and tank tops because it's gonna be it'll be it's hot here in the summer. There's a if you can get an extra day or two, there's a lot to see in this area, and we're only it's like two hours to Boston and two hours to New York. We're right we're right when you're here as well. So you know. Yeah. And Pack I got guns to show up. Hey, yeah. <laughs> All right, Sinead. Love you to death, man. Right. Thank you so much. Okay. And, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye. Bye.